My name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Docker tutorial series part 20 Earth. Before proceeding with this video, I would highly recommend you to watch my previous video because this video is in a continuation with the previous one. So let's quickly do the recap what we had covered in the previous video. In the previous video, we understood how we can create the service, how we can scale up the services and how we can inspect them, how we can remove the services and how we can verify the container on a respective node which are a part of a swamp cluster. And the agenda and the topic I choose for a today's video is how we can use a replica option to replicate the services, how we can update the service because this is very important aspect of Docker Swarm. You can easily update the image and the other parameter which we want to update at the service label. Right? Then we're gonna see how we can roll back. And the main point which I wanted to cover and with more emphasis is how what is the difference between the replicas and I scale because functionality perspective both seems to be uh, doing the same thing, but there is a major difference between scale and a replica. So let's quickly jump to the demo part. So this is our Swarm Manager, right? And I can just show you. It's a Swarm Manager, right? It's true. And if I just see what all services I have, which I am running on my Swarm Manager. So if you will see here, we have two services. The one is my service and the other is a service two. What I'm gonna do is for demoing the, the very first thing, how we can replicate, you know, the how we can replicate you know the application right across the nodes for that we have to use this docker service then we have a create here we can give replicas and how many replicas we want to create let's say we want to create four then i'm just gonna give the name to the service and i'm just gonna give a name service one right and i'm just gonna use let's say alpine 3.5 version and just gonna use the same command pinging so now the service is getting converged it means it is getting up so let me put this docker service ls now we have three services if you will see the second one the service one which is four replicas so in the previous video, we understood how we can scale up the service, right? And we have the another option, which is replicas, which we can use at the time of creating a service, right? Now we have the another option through which we can make this replicas up and down. When I say up and down means number of replicas we can reduce, right? So let me just quickly first check the Docker service PS. If I just give a service one, then I can get more detail right on which machine, which particular the replica is running right you can see service one service one two three and four it's running on a different different machine now the another command if you remember when we put a docker service help we have one update right and update says update our service right so update a service how we can update a service to update a service docker service update let's say we have replicas four and i want to make replicas six for service one okay and if i just put docker service ls this time service one should have a replica six out of six and if i just put docker service ps and a service one so you can see now we have a six replicas which are running on a multiple machines so this is what the update does we can always update the service and replica is just one of the option and if you want to see what all things we can do with the update you can just put docker service update then help you will see a lot of options which we have there are a bunch of options and for understanding all these options you have to refer to the documentation most of the time you will not be using all of them but there are a few which you can always use right so you can always refer a documentation because doc from the document documentation perspective docker seems to be uh, doing a good job there is more detail there is very easy explanation for understanding any concept right now we have updated this right so
because in real time what happens is maybe on a few days you want to have a more replicas when you expect that there would be a more traffic on your application server but afterwards that period goes go, go gone away then you have to reduce the number of replicas because you know that those many apps, those many replicas are not required to be run right so in that case what you can do is you can always roll back right so if i just put docker service roll back this is one of the uh, one of the option with the docker service and i can put help right we have to detach and acquit quite more so it's not very much helpful uh, i would i don't use them i mean if you want to use it you can use it and if i just put roll back and roll back what is going to do is let's say if i am just roll backing a service one right so what we did the service one we started with four replicas then we just upgraded to the six right so if i just put docker service ls now you will see now we have four out of four service one replicas right so it is just rolling back to the previous state right so now we understood update how we can update how we can roll back and how we can use a replicas now you will be wondering that in the previous video we understood we can use the scale as well right so for a scale we can use docker service scale and then followed by a service name equals to let's say eight so what's gonna do it's doing the same thing what replica was doing for us then what is the difference between these two so the major difference between these two is with a scale you can scale the multiple service whereas if you are using a replica you can only create the replicas for one particular service and that is the major difference between the scale and a replica so replicas actually work at the service level and a replicas is in is connected with the one service at a time whereas on a scale you can just give the multiple services for example if i just see what all services we have docker service ls we have service one, service two. Service one has eight replicas, as you can see on my screen, and service two has five. So if I just want to use Docker service scale, let's say service one, I want three, and I want service two, also three. Let's see what happens. But you cannot use this replica. So we can just give a shot to that replica as well to understand the difference. And this is the major difference, right? If I just put the Docker service ls again, you will see now we have a 3-3 services, right? So what if I just use the same command? Let's see. Service update. Replicas. Let's say 5. Now, let's see what happens see we cannot use that right so that's that's the major difference between you know the replicas and a scale now you know the difference between the scale and replica and you understood where you have to use scale and where you have to use replicas the another thing which i wanted to cover with related to the docker service update is you can always Yes, and so is one. So, if if you see that the image is Alpine three point five, <clears throat> what if I want to uh, update the up image, right? If suppose we are getting a new image for any particular application, and we want to update that. So normally, what you will do if you do you are not running in a swarm cluster mode, then you have to go to the each machine, you have to update them, right? So here, the Docker service update command is also handy, and you can just give a image which image you want to upgrade to let's say i want to upgrade to 3.8 alpine and then i have to give just the service name okay so what this gonna this command gonna do is it's going to update the image without inch without making you know your application down and that's also seems to be the very strong and the very 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 useful command when it comes to you know upgrading your environment so that's it from my side for this particular video right and if you have uh, any feedback any comment or any suggestion please feel free to put that in a comment section and i will be more than happy
to you know address your feedback or your any comments or if you face any problem in using any of the command which i explained through my video i would love to explain you again if you are not able to get anything so if i just put the docker service ps service one so this is just a one last part you can see this it's get upgraded to the 